Oh, let's get ready to rumble. New game in order. We back. Coming at you with our next installment for our weekly podcast. And make sure you check out our two segments that we just did. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe on those. And we're hitting this next topic, and it's talking about cloud computing that Microsoft has been touting for the longest. And now Crackdown 3 is going to be their first or their first official game. And I'll be the first to say Microsoft made a lot of promises that they didn't deliver on at launch. But at least now, with a year in under, you know, a year and a half. What we're in year two, Nelson, or is it a year? I, I'm I bad. believe it's. We're in year well, beginning of year two. And it has to be year two for the one, almost. Yeah, yeah but yeah, this came out. Um, when I uh, mean, who? I had a conversation with somebody. We are in year two, I believe. Yeah, yeah because I missed it. I missed a year, so I'm kind of off yeah. because yeah. of Afghanistan. So. All right, so with that, at least now it's coming, and the cloud computing is supposed to take the stress off of the system resources to handle different things. Forza was supposed to uh, have something with this, where like you know, computations in the background, the scenery, things like that, you know, and that didn't happen. So I guess like on your knees was saying in uh, another uh, podcast topic with Halo. Where, hey, deadlines, things of that nature, Forza has to come out. Boom. Okay, fine. They cut it. Now, now, Crackdown 3. Now, I'll give you my little history with Crackdown. The first Crackdown, me and Shinoir had fun with it. Crackdown 2, eh, he wasn't too happy with it. it. I think it sucked. And then now here's Crackdown 3. Now, apparently, the offline mode is going to have one city. The online mode is a different district altogether, a different city. Where that's where the cloud computing for destructing buildings and destroying stuff is going to take place, right? So online only. Now with that, uh, it's like you literally segregate the experience of the game. Like if you want all that you can get out of it, you have to do it online, right? So screw the soldiers who are deployed that have crappy internet that's going to try and play the cloud computing, uh, you know, downrange and such. But if it, you know, if they deliver on what they're promising, this could potentially turn the X1 into one of the, a, a beastly system. If this, if this works out, imagine if they apply this to fighting games where they put all their attention on the fighters in terms of like the system. Let's say, let's say PS4 someday adopts this, right? Which were like a Street Fighter Five, for instance, or a Guilty Gear or Mortal Kombat. All the system resources harnessed into rendering the characters, right? And then you just let the online cloud do the stages and music and all that other stuff. Imagine what the games could look like. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting that out there. So I want to start with Shin Takuma first, then uh, Shinwar. But Takuma, what are your thoughts on Microsoft going this route? And you know, starting with Crackdown Three. Um, I'm kind of in the in between of it because I'm not sure exactly what they're doing as far as in their, I guess Crackdown. No, I kind of explained it. Like, you know, I kind of gave like a general. I didn't go into specifics because I don't know them right now. But I just have a an, a shell of an idea. My my thing is this: if it's good for the gamers who play the game and us. And if it you know benefits, then I'm all for it. But if it has some type of like um, trying to think the word like bias or if it like goes against like whatever's working for for it, then no. So you shouldn't you shouldn't try to well, change. Well, the, the intent is to enhance gameplay experience. So it, the the answer to that is is that yeah, they're trying to make the the you enjoy the game in a different way that hasn't been done before. Okay, so well, if that's the case, then you know, do what everything everybody else does. Give it a, a trial system, like ten days or a month or something like that. See how it works in a month and collect the reviews. If it works, okay. Like a ahead. beta, like a public beta. Like, yeah, like a beta. Yeah, like a beta. Something like that. If it works, that's fine. Let's go ahead and make all these changes because people are liking it. If they don't like it, then leave it alone. So that's that's basically what it comes down to. Well, that's I think they need to make now. sure that it works. Like you yeah. know that that's that's a big promise, and this yeah. can't fail. 
This yeah, can. make sure it works, get all the bugs out and everything else, and then roll it out to the to the gamers. If it works fine, you get good reviews about it, then go ahead after the beta is over, go ahead and start making all the changes you can to it. If it don't work, leave it alone. All right, all right, Shinwar, your thoughts. Um, I guess that's cool. You mean for the fighters or just cloud computing? Period. It just for you know mainly for Crackdown Three, but if they apply it to fighters, right. if they apply it to platformers and things like that, they can do so much with this. Yeah, from from the video that I saw in Crackdown Three, that game looks really good. And like I said, I saw the guy. The, the character in the game demolish an entire building just by shooting it. I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah. honestly, I was getting like a Saints Row feel from it. Saints Row mm. 4 feel with the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, it's um, all shaded this one. You know? Yeah, uh, but it does look fun. It looks real fun. And I was like, all right, cool. But in regards to the cloud computing, um, I think it could work. I think you would definitely need like a, a fast connection. Mm -hmm. um, but... Yeah, that'd be great with all the resources being pushed towards the rendering of the fighters. And I could just imagine how it will look and then just, you know, the cloud computing doing everything else. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited for uh, Crackdown 3. Part 2 was, like you said, eh, but uh, 3 looks real good. And I'm glad it's an exclusive for the Xbox One. Yeah, it's a first party title. All right. I On your keys, your thoughts. Well, the last game that I remember um, claiming that you had to be online only before cloud computing was The Last Sim City. We all know how well that launch worked out. Oh, boy. It was a fucking disaster when it was all proved to be a lie. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Alex, you're not the only one that's going to have problems. Uh, most of Canada has really restrictive um, data caps, so they're going to be fucked over by this. Yeah, Along shout out to Fierce, else. who's on our Xbox Live friends list. Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah. And uh, anyone else with a shitty internet connection, wireless internet, you know, you're talking a lot of the West, uh, deserts and whatnot, they mm -hmm. have to rely on wireless internet, and that's not reliable uh, too much. Yeah. So this is going to fuck over a lot of people, especially in the U.S. now in places like Japan, Korea, Europe. Not so mm -hmm. much, but uh, yeah. I don't think this is going to fly after this game, um, because if it's online only, I don't think it's going to sell to a lot of people, because there's, there's still a big chunk of the, the market who plays offline for these games. So, um... Mm -hmm. Eventually, it'll work, but not now. I think I still think it's still soon, too soon. Okay, okay. And last but not least, Nelson, your thoughts? I mean, all you need is right. I mean, it's kind of too soon to, to actually make this actually happen because there is still quite a few people that's like a story mode uh, kind of based player. They play a lot of story mode. They don't even bother to play online. And I, I think about it. We just recently got the shit uplifted, supposedly, with the DRM for the xbox one that you always have to be online if you implement this cloud system again then technically you're re-establishing the drm that mm. you're having to always be online it's another, it's another way around it yeah it's, mm -hmm. a, it's another way of saying hey guys we're gonna do something awesome for you and make the game run faster but secretly we're just putting drm back <sighs> like that's technically what you guys quietly well sneak tip sneak you're tip basically cursing at us but in a nice way that's that's how I'm gonna put it. You're cursing at us. You are a mother sweet. flower. So <laughs> God damn it, Alex. But I mean again Bill Cosby. The, 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 the concept, like the structure of it is there. The idea is great. They just have to take a little while for it to be like a known thing. Probably like in a couple years everyone might have uh, internet due to what I'm hearing about um I don't know if like the, the state is doing it or the president is doing it. That he's giving everyone in like a local home free Wi-Fi for housing and regular houses and stuff like that. So eventually, people who don't have internet or I still have that will have it. Will have internet. So this could be something good oh, in the God future. Did. <laughs> no, uh, I wouldn't hold your breath on that. The government's already gave upwards of billions of dollars to AT&T and Verizon to roll out internet to sub-serviced areas. You see how well that's worked out. Well, we did a podcast talking about that. We did numbers on that podcast, the fiber optic one. Yeah, yeah. where yeah. Verizon did not hold their end of the bargain, neither did AT&T. And I think they're actually holding AT&T to task, but there's so much shit going on in the news around that. It, that kind of shit, you know, it's hard to get info on. It is. Because there's more important shit, like what did Kim Kardashian and Donald Trump say today? But oh. that's, that's oh. not oh. this uh, uh, Taking selfies, pregnant news oh. and stuff. Ugh. 
boy. But yeah, uh, I, I keep on the wrong topic. I apologize. <laughs> right, hey, we need current events on. But All right, to now... add on to this again, because it's so good that you're just talking about these topics, because I get to add sub ones now. <laughs> there is a streaming service, guys, that I was speaking offline to Mr. Lexus here. Apparently, I was it's talking gonna... to me. Yes, I was. He was the oh. only person I was talking about it to. Apparently, there's going to be a new streaming <laughs> service program, which, you know, if you guys are familiar with Exploit, Wirecast, or OBS. Open Broadcast software, it's a online open browser streaming software, and it's completely free. It comes with overlays. It comes with, like, overlays? embedding with, uh, let's say, videos, pictures, slideshows, and <laughs> it's to make it so easy with a click of a button for you to connect to Twitch, to connect the perfect settings it will scan your computer to see what is like the highest uh, specs you can run it at and a whole you know the whole night and i already started in the beta service of yeah it's this. currently in beta right now and um i will be most likely uh sending alex, alex the link David. so he can put it in the comment section below so you can sign up for the beta if you want to become uh, a new to streaming and stuff like that and again the the concept of it is is to take the stress load of your cpu usage and have it all on the web browser so your computer is always having its maximum use for playing the game or yeah it so, reduces the overhead on your local resource right 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 so hopefully when we get more information about this or if i get any more emails stating about this i will let you guys know which is the public and Alrighty, alrighty, and with that, we're gonna bring this segment to a close. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we value your support. Shout out to Full Screen, our partner, and uh, you know, check us out on NewGamingOrder.com. And you can always follow our potential topics on our Facebook page. You can just Google the New Gaming Order, and you'll see all of our info on there. And uh, we'll have links in the description below. So we'll see you on the next uh, segment. Peace.